Hello Tibians. This is the start of a new series about how to play Druid and how to max utilize your strength. Starting with the Druid spell rotation. It might seem all that hard, but playing on a mage is all about speed and timing. A Druid has two powerful spell attacks that should be used all the time. Terra Wave and Strong Ice Wave. Hotkey these two unfamiliar buttons, they will become your very best friends in terms of attacks. But a druid is also master of healing and has three types of healing in party. First we have the regular heal friend, called Exurisio, and the name you want to heal. Second, we have a newer spell called Nature's Embrace. Use this spell wisely because there's a 60 seconds cooldown on it. It's also called an emergency heal. And lastly, we have the mass healing spell that heals everyone in a ratio of three tiles all around you. First rule you have to know, the support spells do not interrupt with your attack spells. In team hunts this means, you can just press down the CO button all the time without releasing it while you click on your attack spell buttons. In another video I will also show my extern equipment and where I put all my hotkeys on. Because, let's face it, druids do need a lot of buttons on the mouse or whatever, right? Okay, let's have a look at the attack spell rotation. You as a druid are always running some squares behind the knight, logic reasoning. So remember, time and speed should be played into your benefit. So we start off with Terra Wave, simply because you are some squares away from your knight. Ideally, in most situations you are always on the correct distance to shoot a Terra Wave that's 5 square meters long. After you've done that spell, you can come closer to the knight and use the strong ice wave that's 3 square meters long, but very powerful. Timing and speed. You should be doing these two actions in one smooth movement. I am no fan of using the strong ice wave as first spell, simply because of the lost time you are creating with moving to the knight, meanwhile doing nothing and then start off with your first action. So once you've done your strong ice wave, you can move back to your first position, or another position to finish off with your third and last instant wave spell, the Terra Wave. Now you have a cooldown on all your waving spells, so it's time to use a rune in between. Or in case the monsters are nearly dead, you can use the Eternal Winter or Wrath of Nature, it's really situational. But in case the monsters are far from dead, we restart our waving rotation again. Terra Wave, Strong Ice Wave, Terra Wave and use a rune or your ultimate. But you have to practice on how much damage you do with your ultimate, and if you could be finishing them off with that spell. Because once you use it, there is a 4 seconds cooldown on all your spells, with exception of support spells. If your knight isn't yet fully boxed before you come on the scene, begin with a rune before starting your waving rotation. Now a small focus on healing aspect. In team hunt, you should press the CO button continuously without releasing it. It doesn't matter if your knight friend doesn't need a CO on that turn, it's better to have him at full health all the time because your healing impact isn't always the same number and can vary quite a lot. Your first CO could be 600 and the next one could be 1000. However, there are some actions that could interfere with your healing spells. Walking is one of them. Well, if you keep on walking in the same direction and press the healing spell afterwards, it works. But if you change walking direction, your healing spell won't continue anymore. So if we put that into practice, it's best to stand on your spot as soon as possible while you start your waving rotation and healing at the same time, and sometimes using a bomb, wild growth or magic wall to close you in. It's all about timing and speed. Crazy vocation huh? I hope this team hunt rotation guide did help you out and you know its basics a bit more. Like and subscribe if you found this helpful content and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe. Oh, <laughs>